everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, just wanted to say hello to my new subscribers that I've gotten recently and welcome back to the subscribers that have been here for a little while. Um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of 50 pounds of DIY denim from Thread Up. I haven't gotten one in a while. Normally I do okay on these boxes, but We'll see how it goes. I'm no way affiliated with ThreadUp. They have no clue who I am, so they didn't send me anything great or anything along the lines of that. So I will take another sip of my coffee, put this down, Beetlejuice. Is everybody getting ready for the spooky season, Halloween? So you can tell I am a pretty big horror fan. Freddy Krueger is definitely my favorite, as you can see from the poster in the back. And I do already have my Halloween decorations up on my house, and it is September 19th, I think. <laughs> um, I didn't look at anything, I just opened the box. I'll show you a quick um, clip of me showing you the box so I didn't see anything prior to. This is the box, I haven't opened it, just cut the tape so that it'd be easier for me to open. Here is their receipt. Doesn't really tell you much. I did have a $10 credit, I think. Um, it was $50. It was $10 to ship, which apparently now ThreadUp does not do the free shipping. If you're the VIP members or whatever their tiered um, system is, it used to be after a certain amount of money, you'd get free shipping. Well, I had talked to one of their customer service people and they no longer offer that for the rescue boxes, which I don't agree with, but what can you do? Okay, so first off, there is We the Free. It's a jean jacket. Um, I'm not sure if this has been cut. The hem on it could just be really distressed. It's kind of wrinkled and stuff, so I will have to try and look at that and see if that was cut or if that is meant to be that way. This is a pair of Mavi jeans, the Zach straight leg, 38-32, so these must be men's. I've only ever seen these in women's. So straight leg is a good color, kind of a bigger size, a 38-32. So that should be decent. Forever 21, just a pair of pull-on um, like jean joggers. They're pretty dirty, so I'm probably going to... I'll try throwing them in the wash, and if they get clean, I will send those to Play-Dohs. Otherwise, that's probably going to be a redonate. Um, Hollister high-rise mom jeans, size 26. These look pretty worn. There's some pulling here, puckering. So these will probably be a donate. Um, next up, Arizona jeans, skinny jeans. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to waste my time doing anything with these. These are going to be redonated. American Eagle, an older, um, this is their older logo on the pants. It's that double button, which used to be outdated. I think it's kind of coming back. These definitely look low rise. They're the artist. I don't know. I'm probably just going to donate these. I've learned my lesson plenty of times with these boxes where I think, well, you know, maybe I can just put it up for like 10 or $12 and it's just not worth my time to photograph it, measure it, list it, store it, you know, for potentially two or three dollars. I'd rather just have a higher cost of goods averaging for the box and just get it out of my house. Pair of Madewell, the 10 inch high rise skinny in a size 30. Uh, let's see. Since it is a size 30, I know there are still people that do wear skinny jeans. And 
Madewell is a decent brand, so these I might attempt to list. A pair of Gap, five inch um, mid-rise shorts. Not really short season right now, but there, yeah, they're 29. Um, I don't know. I might list these. I might just throw them in a pile to do Play-Dohs when it gets closer to summer again. Okay, so this is a pair of Mother. We might not be able to see that. Mother jeans, size 24. So that's kind of fun. I've never had mother jeans before. I thought for sure these were going to be skinny, but they are all black. I think that's kind of like a, a small flare just because these are so small. What did I say? They were a 24. So they're pretty small. They do have that um, raw frayed hem. These I'm going to try because even though they're small size, we'll see what happens with that. Abercrombie and Fitch, 3032 Langdon Skinny. So these must be men's. A little bit older of a tag. And Skinny's not um, real big for men's jeans. They have a little bit of fading there in the knee. I'm not sure if that's just meant to be that way or if they're worn. I'm going to put that in the lookup pile and just see what comps are. Otherwise those might get donated to, um, I've said in the past before, there's um, like a place in town that collects used clothing or new clothing for anywhere from infant to like young adult, and then they will make boxes for kids in need of certain sizes. So I mean those would be good for that. This is an older label cabbie, size two, they're small skinny maroon um these i might actually just <laughs> send right back to thread up in a box i'm not very interested in doing these um listing these at all although i am seeing that there are some talks of kind of like these colored skinny jeans are coming back already so i don't know i don't think i'm gonna list those at all okay so Collusion. This I'm. I don't know this brand. Just looking at the tag, that makes me think I should probably look that up. In a dad size or the dad style, size twenty four petite, so really small. I think they're just wrinkled. I don't think that's puckered. I'll have to steam these and look these up. If they're nothing special then I'm sure Play-Dohs would take these because they are a looser fit, even though they are smaller. Okay, this is American Eagle, just a pair of black shorts. Um, let's see, the date on them is 121, so kind of newer than the Tom Girl. These... I don't know, probably Play-Dohs. I just don't do great with American Eagle shorts. Here's another pair. These look like they might be a little dirty. High-rise shorty. These are from 2019 in a size two. So these potentially could go on the pile. Um, I do a rummage sale with my mom every well, twice in the summer, once at my house, once at her house, and then I do try and unload some of this there, so that I think we'll do that. Another pair of American Eagle. These are also the High Rise Shorty from 2016. Black. That's probably where those are going to go. A lot of American Eagle, which I'm not very happy with because I... I don't really pick it up anymore. I can't move jeans like I used to. So these are men's 2832. The date on here is um, 2019 and they're a slim fit. 
kind of in this lighter wash. Size 28 is kind of tough. I mean, that's borderline, borderline like young boy as opposed to older teen, young man. So I donate probably. Silver jeans. This is good. They're in a bigger size, a size 18. And they're the Suki surplus, I think that says. These I'm happy to see just as long as there's not, um, let's see what the inner thighs look like. Those can get a little damaged. They look to be okay. So these are good. I think that silver in my, um, from what I've seen, silver jeans definitely do better in bigger sizes and in the Suki. Okay, this is really old Ann Taylor. A jean skirt, size two petite. A lot of small things in here. Um, it is like a denim longer like midi skirt with this um, slit here. I just don't think this is trendy enough to try and sell again, so that's probably donate or send back to thread up. More shorts from the Gap, size 29, button front. They're older. I mean, since it does have the button fly, I might give these a try. Another pair of shorts, Lucky Brand. Size four, I'm guessing these are an older style with these floral embroidery. It's probably gonna be a rummage sale thing. Okay, Flying Monkey, size 28. And they're pretty, I think these are skinny. They do have a little bit of a um, distressed raw hem kind of deal going on, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look the style up because this almost looks like damaged. Yeah, so those I need to look up. If they are supposed to look that way, I might try them, but we'll see. This looks like an old pair of jeans from Veniza, Veniza, size 18, these are going to get donated. This just is not anything worth my time. Um, this is an off-brand of Levi's Signature. I think these are skinny, modern, slim. And they're a size... 2632. Nothing special about these. They're pretty cheap feeling, so these will probably also be donated. So I'd say we're about halfway through. Um, not loving it so far, so we will see. Let's hope for something better on the bottom. More American Eagle men's 2630. Black. Straight. I mean, even 26, I think the cutoff at Play-Doh's is like 28, so, I, I don't know. More American Eagle. Short size zero, the Tom Girl short, these just don't feel very well, good, they're, I don't know. These are probably going to be rumor sale. More shorts. This was definitely not what I was hoping for. I was definitely not hoping for a bunch of shorts when we're going into the fall, but you get what you get. This is blank NYC, size 28, jean skirt. It's a mini skirt. Um, I think it's dirty. I'm gonna have to try washing that. I don't do great with this brand, but let's keep going. More old Gap shorts. These are probably going to be donate. These are 
just yep. Deal nineteen sixty one. These I do okay with. Um, a size thirty. Florence. These definitely look maybe like a slim, if not skinny. They seem to be in really excellent condition though. Well, there might be a little bit of puckering there. So I'm going to look those up. Wild Fable, highest rise baggy jeans. Um, size two. I don't know. I mean, they're shorts. Probably Play-Dohs when they will take these again. More cheap Levi's, high-rise shorts. Size 8. Probably rummage sale. Okay, point sir. I've had these in the past, but definitely not this style. It's a 33, so a bigger size. Which is good and they are a wide leg crop which is nice and a button fly from spring of 2019 so these I think will be okay wide leg is good plus size is good loft outlet petite skinny I think Size four, these are gonna end up going back to thread up. Page, size 28. This is I was anticipating, puckering here. Those will get donated. Page, if you don't know, they are notorious for getting that pucker right here in the crotch area. Express Slim Straight 3130 in a gray. I actually do okay with Express jeans for men. So these I think will do well. Let's go really cheap. Wild Fable. I can't even read the style. They're so worn. Yeah, these donate. Kenzie, I, these aren't anything. They look super dingy. It's gonna get donated. Old Navy, extra high rise sky, high straight in a size zero. Um, let's see what the date is on them. From 621. So these just really don't do well with such small sizes. We'll see how much I end up keeping and if there is a lot that I need to make up in profit then these I might try and sell on myself otherwise those will be play-doh. Um, these must just be like a off-brand size 4. There's no branding in them. Like a straight leg i wouldn't even say wide if there aren't any stains on these these will also go to play-dohs <laughs> more american eagle shorts so i guess another thing i'm going to do is look at the sizes that i have for these um same with the gap and if there are multiples maybe i'll try a lot because that maybe will be a better outcome these are from 2016 it's a skirt, a mini skirt. So this maybe will be better than shorts. Wild Honey, I'm guessing this is some sort of just boutique type brand. It's like a paper bag waist black mini skirt, probably Play-Dohs. So as we're nearing the end, I did just wanna jump in and say if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, this is something that I do on the channel. I will do unboxings. I do what's sold. Um, I'm thinking about doing like come thrift with me's, a day in the life. Those haven't happened yet, but they could in the future. 
Okay, more American Eagle. These are, this is a skirt, high-rise mini in white, size 6. Okay. And Hollister, skirt, high-rise, size 28. With this embroidered thing on it. Um, Hollister, I really couldn't tell you the last time I sold something Hollister. It just really doesn't hold its value like um, <coughs> Abercrombie does. So I don't know what to do with that. One new tag item. And I don't even know what this is. Doesn't seem to have like any interior tags. Um, just a size small, just this mini skirt. Oh, it's probably going to go to Play-Dohs. Alright, everybody, let's hope for some good stuff here at the end because I'm kind of losing hope on this box. So, cotton on size 6, split hem jean in black. So, they do just have, like, the split here at the cuff. Seems to be more of a wider leg. Um, cutting on isn't great. Like I said, I'll see what we're looking at for totals, and if I need to try and sell them, I will. Otherwise, those will go to Play-Dohs. Simply Vera Wang, two straight. Those are gonna go donate. More page, 28. You can see right here. Puckering. Those are out of here. Banana Republic, size 28, shorts, probably donate. These are going to be donate. Oh, wait, J. Crew, size 2. These are older. From 2013. Like that real, um, like, heavyweight dark wash jeans. I don't know. Probably donate. This is an old American Eagle label, kind of when I was in high school. Sometimes these do okay. I have sold them in the past. It's the Artist, size 6, regular. So these maybe I'll put on Depop. Mm, Universal Thread, size 4. Vintage Straight. And black. These are going to go to Play-Dohs. STS Blues LE High Rise Ankle, size 30. I don't know this brand. I will look it up. Alright, last pair, and it does not look very promising. Okay, actually it's not bad. It's made well. It's the Curvy Perfect Vintage Jean in a size 32, so it is a little bit bigger. It is from fall of 2021. So it's in this black, gray color. The knees are a little worn. And I think that will be okay. So I'm going to turn the camera off, kind of look through what I have here, and then we'll go over numbers once I'm done. Okay, so I do have some numbers for you. Uh, I pulled up my receipt from them after taxes, shipping, and the total amount and my $10 credit. I paid $53.29 for this box of 50 pounds of denim. I ended up getting a total of 48 pairs of something, either shorts, pants, I think there was one jacket, skirts. So what I am doing, I am keeping 13. Um, the mother jeans, I looked those up. Those should, I know they're a smaller size, so that might um, hurt it a little bit. That should pay for half the box, I think. I didn't look up the We The Free jacket. If that is truly supposed to be cut like that, I think that will probably be close to making up the other half. Um, so I definitely think I'll make my money back. The only issue I have is 
I'm going to be sending five of these items back to ThreadUp in one of my boxes for them to sell for me. Twelve items are going to Play-Dohs. Nine I'm just completely getting rid of and donating somewhere. And then I have nine pairs of shorts. Most of them are similar sizing, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm not super concerned about it because we are going into fall and winter. So my options either are going to be to, I have um, storage of where I keep my stuff for Play-Dohs. I do have some other denim in there, shorts. So I might just put that all in there for now. And then in March, when that's when I start bringing them um, summer and spring, I might just bring all of it to them and just see what happens. And if they don't take it, that's when I might lot them up in sizes and then just sell them off fairly cheap, like three pairs of jean shorts for $20 or something like that, or run an auction cheap on eBay. So I guess final thoughts, definitely not one of my favorite boxes that I've gotten. Um, there were a lot of like Target, a lot of American Eagle, which I don't like selling anymore. It just doesn't seem to move for me. So we'll see if I'll get one of these again. Um, I definitely don't get them much like I used to. I do always do great with the shoe boxes. I don't think I've ever gone wrong with that. Um, but I have so many shoes right now in my inventory that I don't want to do that. And it also is deterring me a little bit with the shipping. So I have quite a few things that are listed on their website right now that I'm going to get payouts for. And I am going to use that money for credit for the site. Um, probably for these boxes. I don't really do a lot of online arbitrage through ThreadUp. I know there are other resellers that do. That could be something that I do look for in the future and maybe I can make a video of how or what I'm trying to do on there to look for the best deals. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And like I said before, um, consider subscribing. There's quite a few people that do watch my videos that are not subscribed. And yeah, thanks for hanging out and I hope you enjoyed.